I certainly think the situation in Europe is considerably better than I would have predicted a few months ago. We still have very strong labor markets across Europe and growth uh, from most of the euro area economies, including as projected by the IMF of, of uh, 0.8% for, for this year, is a lot better than it was uh, just a few months ago. And I also am of the view that inflation in Europe will come down very dramatically over the course of this uh, year. I think Europe is heading for a, a soft landing, if you can put it that way. I want to echo what Nadia said about the Global Sovereign uh, Debt Roundtable resilient going forward in the areas of health. In we see a recession in uh, 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 a few countries and uh, there is certainly in some countries a recession risk, but it's very different from what uh, uh, we foresaw and feared for uh, uh, even in January. <laughs> In Europe, uh, and also countries like Japan and elsewhere, where we have very important demographic deflation, basically the population is declining, which basically is, is a very powerful effect to lower demand and prices. Uh, that is, uh, so I don't think we're going to have runaway inflation in Europe. It's important to recognize that in 2022, across Europe on average, we had the largest decline in purchasing power in decades, somewhere between five and 6% on average because of the rising energy prices. Uh, and so, and this is one of the reasons why, of course, the economy has slowed down. People have simply a lot less money to spend. Um, so, it is therefore, in my opinion, entirely appropriate that unions and workers demand that their purchasing power is restored uh, right now and in the years ahead.